हेलो एवरीवन आज ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री में जो टॉपिक हमने कवर करना है दैट इज मेथड्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हेलो एल्केन्स और एल्काइल हेलाइट नाउ हेलो एल्केन्स को हम बना सकते हैं अल्कोहल से एल्केन से एल्कीन से एंड बाय दीज थ्री नेमिंग रिएक्शंस वन इज फिंकलस्टीन एंड अदर इज स्वाट्स एंड थर्ड वन इज बोरोडीन हंस टिकर्स रिएक्शन इसका एक और मॉडिफिकेशन भी आएगा ऑफ द सेम कैटेगरी नाउ हम एल्कोहल से किस तरीके विल प्रिपेयर हेलो एल्केन्स द जनरल फॉर्मूला ऑफ हेलो एल्केन इज आर एक्स वेयर आर इज दी एल्काइल ग्रुप एंड एक्स इज दी हेलोजन लाइक सी एच थ्री सी एल और सी टू एच फाइव बी आर दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स नाउ वेन वी स्टार्ट विद एल्कोहल्स हाउ विल वी कन्वर्ट एल्कोहल्स टू हेलो एल्केन प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी क्लोरो एल्केन्स या एल्काइल क्लोराइड्स दे आर प्रिपेयर बाई पासिंग एच सी एल गैस थ्रू अ सूटेबल एल्कोहल इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एन हाइड्रस जेड एन सी एल टू दैट इज सपोज आपके पास है सी एच थ्री सी एच टू ओ एच दैट इज इथेनोल इसमें आपने रिएक्ट किया एच सी एल इन गैसियस फॉर्म इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एनहाइड्रस जेड एन सी एल टू यहाँ से एच टू ओ एलिमिनेट हो जाएगा एंड वॉट वी विल गेट सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सी एल सिमिलरली इफ यू हैव सेकेंडरी एल्कोहल एंड रिएक्ट विद एच सी एल इन गैसियस फॉर्म इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एनहाइड्रस जेड एन सी एल टू एच टू ओ विल बी एलिमिनेटेड एंड वी गेट टू क्लोरो प्रोपेन दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ग्रूव प्रोसेस दिस मेथड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ग्रूव प्रोसेस एंड वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एडिंग दिस एंड हाइड्रस जेड इन सी एल टू इट हेल्प इन द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ कार्बन ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड रोल वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एन हाइड्रस जेड इन सी एल टू इट हेल्प इन द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ कार्बन ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड because it is a lewis acid and being a lewis acid it coordinates with the oxygen atom of alcohols due to this carbon oxygen bond weak ho jayega aur break ho jayega to give carbocations aur jo carbocations hai they immediately react with the cl negative ion to form chloroalkanes now since order of stability of carbocations that follows the order tertiary secondary and primary Similarly, the order of reactivity of alcohols decreases in the same order. That is tertiary, then secondary, and then primary. And for a given alcohol, the reactivity of halogen acid decreases in the order HI, then HBr, then HCl. And it is an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction. और इसमें न्यूक्लियोफाइल इज दी हेलाइड आयन दैट कैन बी आई नेगेटिव बी आर नेगेटिव सी एल नेगेटिव एंड दैट विल अटैक ऑन दी प्रोटोनेटेड एल्कोहल मॉलिक्यूल नाउ जो टर्शरी एल्कोहल्स हैं दे रिएक्ट रेडिली विद कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एच सी एल इवन इन दी एबसेंस ऑफ जेड एन सी एल टू टर्शरी एल्कोहल्स रिएक्ट डायरेक्टली With concentrated HCl, even in absence of anhydrous ZnCl2. So, what we can write? Suppose we have this tertiary alcohol, which is 2-methyl propane 2-ol. It will react with HCl, which is concentrated, and the reaction will take place at the room temperature. And what you will get from here? CH3 C. CH3OH will be replaced by Cl and that is 2 chloro 2 methyl propane or it is the tertiary butyl chloride which is the common name of this particular after this particular reaction now we can also convert alcohol to haloalkanes by using PCl5 a uh, PCl3 SOCl2 for example you have C2 H5OH react with PCl5 
you can break down PCL5 like this, PCL3, CL and CL. You can do this in the rough work basically. What you will get? C2, H5, Cl byproduct is POCl3, which is phosphorus oxychloride along with HCl. So, agar hum is tarah se break kar dete hain, to byproducts yaad karne comparatively easy ho jayenge. Likewise, if we have C2 H5 OH react with the PCL3 that is phosphorus trichloride OH is again substituted with the Cl what you get C2 H5 Cl and the byproduct is H3 PO3 which is the phosphorus acid and you need to balance this as well another method of preparing chloroalkane from alcohol is by the use of thionyl chloride like you have C2H5OH thionyl chloride is SOCl2 again break it like this and what you will get C2H5Cl plus SO2 in gaseous state HCl in gaseous state now this is again a very good reasoning thionyl chloride is preferred to HCl or to PCL3 or PCL5 to for getting chloroalkanes because these byproducts SO2 and HCl these are in gaseous state so they will escape out and there is no need of distillation to found or to get the main products. So we have prepared chloroalkanes basically haloalkanes from alcohol by using HCl PCL5, PCL3, SOCl2. Now, how we can prepare haloalkanes from alkenes? Now, this is the second method like how we can convert alkenes to alcohols. Alkenes react with halogen acids to give haloalkanes and the order of reactivity is again HI HBr HCl HF is the least reactive halogen acid to react with the alkenes and how we can proceed with the reactions like if we take a very general example suppose we have taken CH3 CH double bond CH2 this is prop 1 in ab ye ek unsymmetrical alkene hai double bond ke cross jo ye do carbon hai inke paas हाइड्रोजन का नंबर इक्वल नहीं है एक के पास एक हाइड्रोजन है यहाँ पे दो हाइड्रोजन है एंड द कार्बन कैरिंग मोर नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज मोर इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव एंड दैट विल गेट अ पार्शियल नेगेटिव एंड दिस विल गेट अ पार्शियल पॉजिटिव चार्ज और अगर हम इसमें एच बी आर एड करते हैं एच इज पॉजिटिव बी आर इज नेगेटिव सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दी मार्कॉनिक ऑफ रूल वट वी विल गेट सी एच थ्री सी एच बी आर सी एच थ्री दिस इज to bromo propane this is according to the marconic of rule now hum ye bhi keh sakte hain addition of hydrogen halides to unsymmetrical alkenes take place according to the marconic of rule but in the presence of peroxides uh, like uh, benzoyl peroxide the addition of hbr to alkene unsymmetrical alkenes take place contrary to the uh, Markovnikov rule and what we get here 1 bromo propane this is contrary to the Markovnikov rule so we call it anti Markovnikov rule or it is commonly called peroxide effect now addition of HBr to the alkenes in presence of peroxide that occurs by free radical mechanism this reaction takes place by free radical mechanism and basically for the anti Markovnikov rule it is observed only and only with the HBr not with HF, HCl or HI it is observed only and only with the HBr because when we study the mechanism of this reaction uh, there are two steps involved one is the initiation and then propagation and the third step is that of termination now if we take HBr then both the steps 
are exothermic in nature and the peroxide effect is observed so we will discuss the mechanism when we uh, will explain the mechanism of all the organic chemistry reactions which are in the syllabus and next is if we have this alkene ch2 double bond ch2 and we add br2 in presence of ccl4 in that case what we get this particular compound that is 1 2 di bromoethane so these are vicinal di bromides which are prepared by the reaction of bromine in ccl4 to the alkenes and during this reaction when br2 ccl4 is added to the alkene the red brown color of the bromine that gets a decolorized because of the formation of this colorless vicinal di bromide so you can say it is also used as a test to detect unsaturation what is unsaturation basically the presence of double or triple bond in an organic molecule now uh, this way we have converted alkenes to alcohols by applying hbr and dibromides are prepared by applying br2 and ccl4 there is also a very good reaction in the same category a more uh, when we carry out the allylic uh, bromination there is a more specific reagent which is basically nbs nbs is n bromo succini mide this is basically used for allylic bromination so if you have this propene ch3 ch double bond ch2 and it is treated with nbs that is n bromo succini mide the exact structure of nbs is this is the structure and this reaction takes place in presence of light in presence of peroxide a very less amount of peroxide and the bromination will occur at the methyl group and what we get 3 bromo prop 1 ene this is the example of allylic bromination the product is 3 bromo prop 1 ene or it is allyl bromide and the byproduct is this byproduct is called succinimide so this is again a very good reaction basically for the allylic halogenation now the next method is how we can convert alkanes to alkyl halide how we can convert alkanes to halo alkanes and it is done by the free radical halogenation it is very simple like if you have methane apply chlorine in presence of sunlight nearly 520 to 670 kelvin ak substitute ho jayega chlorine se and what you will get ch3cl plus HCl that way you get chloromethane from here now similarly you can apply BR2 and we will get CH3Br uh, the important one is in this if we have methane and we apply iodine what we get CH3I plus HI we can write this iodination is basically reversible in nature why it is reversible in nature because this hi is a reducing agent and that will reduce the products back to the reactants to avoid this it is carried out in presence of any oxidizing agent like hio3 hno3 what the oxidizing agent will do it will convert hi to iodine and the reaction will proceed in a forward manner similarly if we carry out the fluorination of alkanes with the pure f2 so that is that will occur explosively because of the low uh, bond dissociation energy of the fluorine molecule and also 
uh, the strongly exothermic nature of the one of the termination steps uh, during the mechanism. So, we can prepare fluoroalkanes indirectly. How we can do this? Suppose you have converted a methane to a bromomethane and then you apply AGF. From here, AGBr will be eliminated and what you get CH3F that is the fluoromethane and this reaction is called Schwartz reaction. This reaction is called Schwartz reaction. Other than AGF, we can also use uh, HDG2F2, we can also use uh, SBF3, but it is easy to use AGF. Now, if we carry out the substitution of higher alkanes, so sometimes we get a mixture of isomeric haloalkanes, right? And the relative amount of these isomeric haloalkanes that depends on the nature of the halogen atom and the number of number and the type of hydrogen atoms which are being substituted. In general, the ease of substitution of various hydrogens follow the order 3, 2, 1. Now, we will do the another uh, method of preparing haloalkanes that is basically the halogen exchange method. It is Finkelstein reaction. Now, what is this reaction? Suppose if we have C2H5Br react with NaI in presence of acetone and heat the reaction mixture. Yahan se NaBr eliminate ho jayega and what we get C2H5I that is the iodoethane. So, this is the halogen exchange method basically or isme iodoalkanes are prepared either from chloroalkanes or from the uh, bromoalkanes. This is Finkelstein reaction. Next is borodine, hence Dicker's reaction the next naming reaction or the next method of preparing uh, haloalkanes. Uh, this method include preparation of haloalkanes from silver salt of the fatty acids. For example, if we have taken the silver salt of ethanoic acid, apply Br2 and in presence of CCl4, reflux it. Now, if we reflux the reacting mixture, what we will get from here? CH3, Br, CO2 and AgBr. This is a borodine hans dickers reaction and occurs by free radical mechanism. Now, uh, the yield of alkyl halide during this reaction is primary, secondary and then tertiary. Now, chloroalkanes can also be prepared by this method by using Cl2 instead of the Br2, but the yield is not very good. And with I2, silver salts give esters instead of idoalkanes. For example, if we take silver salt of randomly any uh, fatty acid and apply I2 in presence of CCl4, reflux the reacting mixture, what you get? Ester byproduct is C CO2 and silver iodide. Now, in this case, the name of the reaction is Bimbon Simonini reaction. So, that was all about the methods of preparing haloalkanes only. So, do revise all of these methods and in the next class, we will discuss the methods of preparing haloarenes as well as the chemical properties of haloarenes. Till then, keep on revising the same. Thank you.